Maths made really clear with Dr. Nick. Learning multiplication facts. Introducing flexible fluency method and resources. Knowing your times tables is a big help in mathematics. People have mixed feelings about learning by rote. Some were successful, but for many it was an unhappy experience that put them off mathematics for life. Learning by rote does not develop conceptual understanding. The flexible fluency approach is supported by research. See in the description below for links. Learners go through phases from counting or skip counting, to deriving, to mastery. The deriving phase develops number sense and provides a fallback strategy for when memory fails to produce the required fact. We start with the foundational facts 0, 1, 2, 5 and 10. Only then, when the foundational facts are mastered, do we move on to the other facts. A good order in which to learn the foundational facts is 1, 0, 2, 10, 5. 1 and 0 are straightforward but do need to be covered explicitly. The two times table is tied in with doubles addition facts, which are often the addition facts that learners know best. Time spent reinforcing the two times table is important. Learners must also learn that even numbers are multiples of two. Concentrating on equal sharing between two helps develop the concept of division. The ten times table may seem trivial to people who just add a zero, but focus on the ten times table is an opportunity to embed a better understanding of place value. The five times table is a great one to chant or skip count, and studying the final digit helps learners identify multiples of five. Activities like the ones shown here can develop a stronger concept of multiplication and division on a controlled group of facts while working towards mastery. Multiple representations of multiplication and division provide opportunities for learners to gain rich number sense. When the foundational facts have been mastered, 1, 2, 10 and 5, learners will know all but 36 of the facts. Because 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, in reality, they will only need to learn another 21 facts. Knowing this can help learners feel less overwhelmed by the task at hand. Once the foundational facts are mastered, the other tables can be built up from them one at a time. The 4 times table is double and double again, or 2 times 2 times. If we double again, we get the 8 times table. 3 times is double plus another. 6 times is 5 times plus another, or 6 times can be thought of as double 3 times. 9 times is 10 times minus 1 group. 7 is probably the most difficult, but exploring different approaches can build flexible thinking. Partitioning and looking for patterns in multiplying develops number sense and provides a better feel for operations. We encourage focus on one set of facts at a time, interspersing with the foundational facts, before mixing them up. Our resources have a variety of activities to suit all learners and develop conceptual understanding along with flexible fluency. You can find printable PDF resources, including free samples, at shop.creativemaths.net.